Restaurants statewide are operating with a skeleton crew, technically open, but only for takeout and delivery. WBZ's Christina Rex shows us the balancing act right now for owners who are trying to pay employees and stay afloat. St. Patrick's Day would normally not be like this. Empty chairs at an Irish pub as restaurants statewide are forced to only serve takeout. <laughs> Inside the doors of Foley's in Boston, people stand six feet away from one another as they wait for their boiled dinner. You can't get together with your friends, you can't go play sports, uh, you know, St. Patrick's Day in a, an Irish pub is empty. Owner Mike Foley says the goal is to make ends meet and keep kitchen staff working without seated customers. It's different. It's very different. It's, um... It's kind of eerie how quiet it is. While the tables are empty and the mood is uneasy, as many restaurants just work to make ends meet right now, the statewide limitations are also bringing out the generosity in their customers. Stunning, um, humbling. Kingston restaurant solstice owner John Cataldi. On the $1,000, yes, $1,000 tip, two of his servers were given on Sunday night. The word had just come out that um, restaurants were forced to close down. And one group decided to be extra generous. They were some of the only customers inside when they dropped the nearly 300% tip. A huge amount, knowing that they were going to be out of work for at least three weeks. And they'll be out of work for a while with no tables to wait on. Owners hope takeout and delivery will be enough. We'll see you again. In Kingston. <laughs> Christina Rex, WBZ News.